early season snow falling in the Sierras this week. We had atmospheric rivers uh, blasting the West Coast uh, throughout the last several days. Let's welcome in Dr. Andrew Schwartz, the lead scientist for the UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab. He joins us now with more insight with what's been uh, uh, playing out out West. It's great to hear you. Uh, great to see you. I hear Central Sierra Snow Lab, and it's like the Grinch. My heart starts growing sizes because it means we're getting into the winter season. We're talking about snow again. How have you guys uh, made out through the, the early part of the season so far? Uh, well, first, thanks for having me on, Ian. And second, so far, we've been pretty warm in terms of the precipitation that we've gotten. So we've gotten more so rain than anything else. We've had a good amount of it, which is fantastic. Uh, we have had a few inches of snow, about seven overall, but we're really waiting for that first big storm to kick in. Yeah, we don't uh, we, we can't put the rain in, in the bank, which is the, the snowpack that you build up uh, moving through the, the winter season. That was mostly due to the storm track here, right, in the overall orientation. It looked like you guys had a significant component to the overall wind direction uh, that was more out of the south. That's exactly it. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of moisture um, from the south, bringing those warm temperatures up to get us. Uh, and that's not generally dissimilar from what we see early in the season. Um, but generally by now we've seen at least one or two bigger cold storms. And so the nice thing is our soil is nice and primed. It's got plenty of moisture in it, so it won't need to suck that out of the snowpack when that melts. Um, but we would like to see snow cover really start to develop here soon. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you more about the climatology because I know uh, with snowpack, well begun is half done. You get a couple couple few good storms, and now all of a sudden you're in good shape moving through the cold season. From a climatology standpoint, you said you had, what, seven or so inches so far. Where would you, where would you like to be at this point? Uh, I mean, I'm a snow scientist. I would like it to be as deep as possible at this point. But, uh, you know, climatologically speaking, generally we've had somewhere between a foot to 18 inches at this point. Um, so a little bit more than we've already had. Uh, realistically speaking, that doesn't always stick around. It does often melt a lot. We generally don't see our snowpack really start to establish itself uh, for the season until maybe uh, another two weeks from now until mid-December. Um, but we want to start seeing that cold air move in and give us uh, that snowpack to start developing so we can store that moisture for the spring. You're a snow guy, so, so I got to zoom out and talk about that overall. We've been in this zonal flow most of the week, very low amplitude to the jet stream. Boy, does that change into the early part of next week, at least across the eastern half of the country, where we're all going to be freezing all of a sudden. Is that the kind of pattern? I, I know it would be the inverse over on the west coast. That's the type of amplitude to the jet that you would be looking for, though, uh, for a blockbuster out your way. That's absolutely it. Yeah, we really want to see those nice deep troughs dig in, uh, some really high amplitude waves come through. It's a little challenging to get those on the West Coast because the Pacific um, Ocean balances us out so much in terms of temperature. But once those start rolling through and they can deep you know, kind of dig and bring moisture up from the tropics and have it meet with that cold air. That's where we get those really favorable atmospheric rivers that dump so much snow on us. So what's the thought before we let you go uh, moving through the season? We're in that weak La Nina. Does that favor the jet to be a little bit farther off to the north from you or are you hoping for a big year? It's, it's actually just about average for La Nina years where we sit. Uh, the jet tends to be a little too far north for Southern California, so the Southern Sierra are probably going to be below average again this year, like they were last year. Up north in the Northern Sierra and the Cascades, they'll probably be somewhat above average, if not right at average. And last year was kind of uh, I-80, which is right where we are, was kind of the line between the two. And it looks like that might be the case again this year. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch them. But at least uh, as you're talking about, you go north to south, the, the net is somewhere uh, close to average. So uh, we'll see how things play out. And, and where you are, always some of the, the best scenes of the winter season. I'm uh, looking forward to uh, checking back in with you throughout it. That's Dr. Andrew Swartz with the uh, UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab. Always great to chat with you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Ian.